well guys I know I just had a video the other day but today is my lucky day I have a bunch of packs to open for you let me count these for you 13 packs to open today uh, from the last like year and a half of magic I mean it's great let's let's get into what I've got like we'll have to take a little break from Zendikar so I have three packs here of Guilds of Ravnica I'm really excited for those Three packs of Theros Beyond Death. Three packs of Ikoria. Three packs of M21. And to top it all off, we have a pack of Double Masters, guys. This is like, I've never opened Double Masters. Heck, I've never opened any of these sets here. So we're saving this last for last. This is the piece of resistance or piece de resistance I don't know I'm, I'm not French but yeah we're going to start with the oldest set which is guilds of Ravnica and then we can get to the really cool stuff the um the double masters that ought to be fun you know I'm kind of an is it guy so I'm gonna go with this pack first nice tightly packed okay so let's just pop this right open. Bring some scissors in here because I kind of want to. I like saving the pack packaging to for the memories, you know. Okay. Have some trouble getting it out of here. There we go. Save the rare for last. And these are American packs. Makes my job easier than last video. Okay. So we have. Take Heart, Demir Informant, Rubble Belt Boar, Vicious Rumors, Vigor Spore Worm, Parhelion Patrol, Boros Locket, ooh, nice, Siege Worm, Goblin Electromancer, true to the is it. The, and another is it card, uncommon this time, Crackling Drake, Okron Assassin, Sinister Sabotage, and the rare. This means we have a foil, actually. Response and Resurgence. Response is an instant for two red or white, whatever you want to do. Response deals five damage to target attacking or blocking creature, and Resurgence. Three, a red and white. Creatures you control gain first strike and vigilance until end of turn. After this main phase, there is an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. Nice. And this means we have a foil, I think. So our foil. Ooh, a beautiful foil Demir Guildgate here. I love this. Jeez, look at that. Look at that shine on that Demir Guildgate. I'm in love. And another Demir Guildgate. I mean, we both know which one's better here. We got this beautiful foil Demir Guildgate versus regular. I am definitely this thing. And an Elf Knight token. So a really good start here for, like, a really good start for the pack openings. And it'll probably just get better from here, honestly. So, Selesnia. Carefully cut this. I don't know, there's something about the packs where I just, I love the art. And I want to save them, because they're memories, you know? Take out the last three, set those here. And, okay. So we've got Maximize Velocity, oh, that's funny. Healer's Hawk. Wishcoin Crab. For a Crab Tribal, we got the new... God, I can't remember his name now, but there's a legendary crab released in Zendikar Rising. Post in the comments if you know it. Bigger Spore Worm, another one of those. Never Happened. Hired Poisoner. Vernadi Shield Mate. Good Celestia card and Celestia pack. Hypothesizzle. Oh, I like the art on that. Prey Upon. 
Hammer Dropper. For the Uncommons, we got Might of the Masses. Glaive of the Guild Pact. Oh, that's fun. And Swath Cutter Giant. And now, the rare. Oh, another double. Assure, two green or two white. Whatever you want to do, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. That creature gains indestructible until end of turn. Or assemble four, a green and a white. Create three, two, two, green and white elf creature tokens with vigilance. And I think I got an elf creature token. I got an elf knight token. A Selesnia Guildgate here. That's nice art. And a bird illusion. Nice token. I like the tokens in this set. And now I think this is Demir. Yeah, I'm gonna bet that's Demir. Bring out the scissors. Okay. Let's get these out of here. Slide them right out. There we go. Got three cards right here. You know the drill. You know how this goes now. So we've got Torch Courier. I like this thing. It goes well in some decks. Hunted Witness. Unexplained Disappearance. Child of Night. Urban Utopia. Command the Storm. Capture Sphere for all your Pokemon needs. Golgari Locket. Maniacal Rage. Hired Poisoner. The Uncommons, we have Arboretum Ele Elemental. I'm going to guess that's Arboretum. 7-5, nice for an Elemental deck, like I have. I've said it before. Sprouting Renewal. And Status and Statue. And now time for this beautiful rare, last rare of the Ravnica, the Guilds of Ravnica. Oh, nice! Vraska, Golgari Queen. Legendary Planeswalker, Vraska. Two, a black and a green. Plus two, you may sacrifice another permanent. If you do, you gain one life and draw a card. Minus three, destroy target non-land permanent with converted mana cost three or less. And minus nine, you get an emblem with... Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. <laughs> Jeez, this thing is overpowered. Oh my god. And then we've got a Golgari Guildgate. Very fitting, honestly. Cannot believe we got a Vraska. And a Soldier Token. So that is a really good start. We got the amazing Golgari Queen here, Vraska. And this beautiful foil Demir Guildgate. Cannot wait to make a Demir deck around that. I mean, you wouldn't make a deck around it, but you know what I mean. Okay, moving on, we have Theros Beyond Death. Haven't actually opened any of these yet. Okay. Let's pop this thing open. You guys, feel free to tell me in the comments what kind of packs you want me to open. I mean, if I can afford it, I'll buy it. Okay. So please do comment. Omen of the Sun. Triton Wave Rider. Underworld Rage Hound. That's fun. Leonin of the Lost Pride. Nylea's Forerunner. I swear, if I can get one of the gods in this set, though. Aspect of Lamprey. Arena Trickster. I would love to get a god, though. Pious Wayfarer. Captivating Unicorn. In the Uncommons, we have Entrancing Liar. Phalanx Tactics. Oh, I think we got a foil in this one. Actually, there's an extra card. Stinging Lionfish. And the uh, rare, or mythic in this case. We have Bronze Hide Lion. Green and a white for a cat. Add to your cat tribal. <laughs> That's a thing now, isn't it? 
And if you pay a green and a white, Bronze Hide Lion gains indestructible until end of turn. When Bronze Hide Lion dies, return it to the battlefield. It's an aura enchantment with enchant creature you control and green and a white. Enchanted creature gains indestructible until end of turn and it loses all other abilities. So pretty good rare there. And we've got a foil, so let's see what that is. Hopefully a rare mythic foil. Oh, nice. We got a rare. We got Enigmatic Incarnation. Two, a green, and a blue for an enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice another enchantment. If you do, search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to one plus your sacrifice enchantment's converted mana cost. Put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Beautiful foil. Look at that art, it's like a chimera. And one of the beautiful Theros Mountains. Any of the Theros lands are really cool. And a wolf token. And that's just the start here. Got more to come. Second pack of Theros, we got Cerberus on there. At least I'm assuming that's Cerberus. <laughs> I'm really into Greek mythology, so I hope I'd know. Let's get something crazy. Okay, put top three to the side. Okay, another Underworld Rage Hound. Heliod's Pilgrim. Elite Instructor. Moss Viper for my Snake Tribal. Blight Breath Catoblepas. Omen of the Sea. Thaumaturge Familiar. Venomous Hierophant, Bronze Sword, Satyr's Cunning, and we got an Anax hardened in the forge with this beautiful art as our first uncommon. Geez, I love these things. Look at that constellation art. Legendary enchantment creature, demigod, Anax, is power is equal to your devotion to red. Whenever Anax or another non-token creature you control dies, create a 1-1 one, one red satyr creature token with this creature can't block. If that creature has power 4 or greater, two of those tokens instead. This is beautiful, though. Totally gonna bring that out again. Destiny Spinner. And another one. We've got... Timoret chosen from death. I mean, this isn't constellation art, but it's another legendary demigod. Timoret's toughness is equal to your devotion to black. I love these devotion cards. Because, like, I play a lot of lands in my decks. And one in a black to exile up to two target cards from your graveyard. You gain one life for each creature exiled this way. I love it. And if we can get an insane god here. Like, the new Perforos. So I have two copies of the old one. Let's see it. Edelon of Obstruction. One in a white for an enchantment creature spirit. First strike. Loyalty abilities of planeswalkers your opponent controls cost one more to activate. A beautiful planes. And a satyr token for my annex. And the last Theros Beyond Death pack. Then we can get on to the beautiful Ikoria wanted to open all these sets though honestly so this is great okay top three off okay sleep of the dead incendiary oracle gift of strength underworld charger Chain to Memory, Hyrax Tower Scout, Satyr's Cunning, Hero of the Pride, Traveler's Amulet, Grim Physician, and on to the Uncommons, Agonizing Remorse, Nessian Horn Beetle. Oh, and another one. We got Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. Two white legendary enchantment creature, Demigod. God, I love the Demigod card. Why did I say? Oh, my God. 
Dax says, his toughness is equal to your devotion to white. Like I say, I love these devotion cards. And whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, you gain one life. I need to start opening more of these Theros ones, honestly. I love the Theros. And if we could get a god here, come on. Temple of Enlightenment. So it's a land. Temple of Enlightenment enters the battlefield. Tapped. And when it enters the battlefield, scry one and add... A white or blue, similar to the cloud one that we got the other day, but that one kind of sucked. And, oh, it's a forest. Nice. I love the art. My favorite's probably forest. And another satyr token for our dude, Annex, hardened in the forge, isn't it? Okay. Moving on, we have Ikoria. Beautiful. Why don't we start with Vivian here? If we could pull a Vivian from the Vivian pack, that would be great. I mean, Vivian is an overpowered planeswalker, honestly. Just hope I don't accidentally cut one of the cards doing this. That would suck. Okay, so... Top three off. So we have... A Feather. Scoured Barons. A foil, Clash of the Titans. These packs are different. Oh, I'm doing it in the wrong order, huh? This is a Japanese pack. I think. Maybe. Yeah, it is. Oh, dude, we got Luca, Coppercoat Outcast, a mythic. Legendary Planeswalker, 3 and 2 red. Plus 1, exile the top 3 cards of your library. Creature cards, I exile this way. Gain, you may cast this card from exile as long as you control a Luka Planeswalker. Minus two, exile target creature you control. Then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card with higher converted mana cost. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And minus seven, each creature you control deals damage equal to its power to each opponent. This thing is good, jeez. But we got a Mythic. That's the second Planeswalker we've pulled. And a beautiful foil. Clash of the Titans. Okay. For our uncommons, we got Sanctuary Smasher. Just gonna add these cards back in, because these are commons. Parcel Beast. Oh, nice. We got the alternate art Pouncing Shore Shark. Eventually, they will make enough sharks, I swear. I need to create a shark tribal. Love the art on that. Looks like comic book art, almost. Like, just soak that in right there. He'll be back in later videos, I'm sure of that. Adventurous Impulse. Humble Naturalist. Facet Reader. Sleeper Dart. Savai Sabretooth. Aegis Turtle, Cavern Whisperer, Day Squad Marshal, Cloud Piercer, and that's all the cards for this pack. Beautiful alternate art pouncing shore shark though. Like I'll get that back here in a second. Like look at this. These packs, dude, we're we're getting some amazing pulls. We've already gotten three foils. Um I mean and we got a foil from each set we've opened so far. That's fun. This is like one of the best birthday presents I've ever had. My birthday is the 20th, by the way. Coming up this Tuesday. Oh, I didn't cut it well enough. Cool. Come on, Vivian, if we can. We already got an amazing one. And I gotta remember, these are Japanese packs, so there we go. So, Barrier Breach, Insatiable Hemophage, Savai Thundermane, and the commons, Moss Coat Goriak, Evolving Wilds, always good for your landfall decks. Thwart the Enemy, Light of Hope, another Sleeper Dart, Frost Veil Ambush, Day Squad Marshal, 
Pyroceratops, Night Squad Commando, and Fire Prophecy. Oh, that's cool. Looks like the Eye of Sauron, kind of, for you Lord of the Rings fans out there. Okay, we got a Human Soldier token. The land is a swamp, though it's still got the nice art. And we got, oh, geez, an Everquill Phoenix alternate art here. Two and two red, Creature Phoenix with Mutate flying. Whenever this creature mutates, create a red artifact token named Feather with one sacrifice Feather. Return target Phoenix card from your graveyard to the battlefield tap. We got the rare in that alternate art. That is that is a beauty. Oh my god. The luck on these packs though. Jeez, we are just hitting it out of the park here. This is my best video yet. Next Lycoria pack here. Okay. So for the uncommons, we have... Horn Bash Mentor, Escape Protocol, Skull Prophet. Now onto the commons. Spell Eater Wolverine. Oh, that's cool. Survivor's Bond. A Jellyfish. Glimmer Bell. Imposing Vantasaur. Blister Spit Gremlin. Oh, they brought Gremlins back. Of One Mind, Corpse Churn, Essence Symbiote, Heightened Reflexes, Blood Curdle, and now on to the last rare or mythic of this pack, Cross Fingers for the Mythic, Human Soldier Token. We've got a Plains, and we have, is it a rare or mythic? A rare, we have... The Ozolith, or Ozolith, I don't know. For one legendary artifact, whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on the Ozolith. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if the Ozolith has counters on it, you may move all counters from the Ozolith onto target creature. So that's a pretty cool okay one. I mean, nothing is going to be... Like, this was insane. We pulled, um, we pulled Luca here. And the different alternate art, Everquill Phoenix. That comic book art, I'm going to call it. I don't know what's actually called. Okay. The Corset 2021 packs. All Chandra here. So, have you guys been enjoying my video? And is there anything you'd like me to change about them? Like, I mean, if you really want me to skip the commons, I will. I like the commons, though. I think they're cool. If I can get an Ugin from these, though. Oh, so we have a foilness, because we got Solemn Simulacrum, better known as Sad Robot. Everyone knows Solemn at this point. If you play Magic, you've heard of Solemn Simulacrum. Waker of Waves, that's a cool. I just like anything to do with the water. Little fishies in a pirate ship there. Ooh, Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest, Legendary Enchantment Shrine. So we've got a shrine. Leafkin Avenger. Truffle Snout. Coming in to sniff out them truffles. Them shrooms. Village Rites. Igneous Cur. Cancel, always a good counter spell. Rambunctious Mutt. Oh, it's a good little doggy. Hey puppy. Looks kind of like my dog when it gets on its back. Dog tribal's a thing now, people. Get making them. You may notice that I love tribal decks. Bone Pit Brute. Grasp of Darkness. Ranger's Isle. And Chandra's Magmut. So the foil, if we can get a foil rare here. So we've got a sapling token. Swift Water Cliffs. And the foil is... Is it going to be a rare? That's a common foil, but it is a Skeleton Archer. Nice foil there, and we're keeping up the trend of a foil per set. That's nice. Second pack. 
Ugin is still an option. He's still out there. Come on, Ugin. Or maybe an alternate art. Ooze? I forgot what they called them. Scavenging ooze. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. It's nice. Without the Zendikar Rising, we don't have to worry about Double Face. Reign of Revelation. Sanctum of Stone Fangs. So we got another Sanctum. And Lore Scale Codal. And for the commons, we have Crypt Lurker. Short Sword, always nice to have a few of those. Fetid Imp, always gonna be reprinted, man. Oh, nice, another shark. Spined Megalodon. Defiant Strike. Sure Strike. Wall of Ruins. Satessin Training. Shock. And Gale Swooper. Okay, let's see if we can get Ugin here. You hiding in there, Ugin? For beast token. A swamp. And is it a rare or a mythic? Rare, we have Teferi's Ageless Insight. We may not pull Teferi, but we got his little thing right here. So two and two blue, legendary enchantment. If you would draw a card, except the first one you draw in each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. So really good for card draw decks. Okay. Last pack of course at 2021, and then we can get on to the thing you've all been waiting for, double masters. But I think the crazy pulls from this more than make up for the wait, you know? Like, this insane. Ooh, goblin tokens. <laughs> I have a goblin, modern goblin deck. I love it. Oh, so we have another foil. So, Temple of Malady. So we got foil coming up at the end here. Miscast. My foil luck, though. I never get this many foils. Cultivate. Twin Blade Assassins. Titanic Growth. Crypt Lurker. Anointed Chorister, Keen Glide Master, Defiant Strike, Ornery Dilophosaur, Shock, Skeleton Archer, and the last common, Satessin Training. So we've got a foil coming up. If we can get like a foil Ugin here, that would be nuts, honestly. Looking for that. Looking for that mythic goblin wizard token. Jungle Hollows. And this card is going to be a foil rare. We have Spark Hunter Masticore. Three colorless mana, artifact creature, Masticore. Look at that art. As an additional cost to cast this spell, discard a card, protection from planeswalkers. For one, Spark Hunter Masticore deals one damage to target Planeswalker, and for three, Spark Hunter Masticore gains indestructible until end of turn. So that's pretty cool, especially since we got in foil. And now for the piece de resistance. Double Masters. Never opened Double Masters. Never been able to. I mean, I could afford one, but like, I never got to buying one. Okay. Don't even know what the deal is with Double Masters. Just know they got good cards. Twisted Abomination. Kazool Toll Collector. Sanctum Gargoyle. Whisper of the Wilds. Apprentice Wizard. Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. Eager Construct. Crusader of Odric. I have an Audric Commander deck. Sandstone Oracle as the first uncommon. Oval Chase Daredevil. Oh, that reminds me. I need to move out. Huh, we might have a foil here. Multiple. I don't know how Double Masters work, so I, I'm not sure. Gore Clan Rampager. And our first rare, Pure Steel Paladin. Second rare, we have multiple. 
Terastodon. That's great. And if we could get a mythic here. I mean, here we just got a plant token. What's this gonna be? A foil, Invigorate. Pretty cool, it's an uncommon foil. And a foil Kozilex Predator. That's pretty cool. So let's get the final tally on these foils. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven foils here. Look at all that shine. Just cover the screen with all those shiny cards. And let's get a rare to mythic ratio. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rares. No, screw that. Twelve rares. And two mythic planeswalkers. Braska and Luca here. That's great. Well, just gonna throw this in here. All the packs. We're not doing Zendikar Rising in this. Throw all the pack wrappers in here. We came, we saw, we did. We just had a bunch of fun. Well, thank you guys for watching. Gonna have Jace swing in here, say hi. Foil Jace Mirror Mage. Love this card. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. We will be opening more Zendikar Rising later. Not this week, but later. And until then, you guys just keep having fun, keep enjoying life, keep living, and just feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And please comment. I like comments. Like, gives me an idea of what you guys are up to, what you want. And that'll be all for this video. Gear Seeker out.